What's up everybody, it's Izzy, and in this video, I just wanna get straight to the point and answer the question, Izzy, why? Why did you decide to join the dark side? Why did you decide to start using PEDs? And to answer that, I have to take us back to the very beginning of powerlifting to win. If you remember in one of my very first videos, I naively got in front of the camera and declared that it was my goal to one day be an IPF world champion. Now, we can look back on that comment five years later and see that I've come nowhere close to doing that. In every sense of the word, it has been a miserable failure attempting to achieve that goal. In fact, the progress that I've made towards that goal is the deepest source of shame in my entire life. It is the biggest source of regret that I have in my entire life. And it's not because I didn't come close to the goal or because my genetics weren't good enough or any of those reasons. I would have been perfectly happy if I would have given it everything that I had and come up 50% short of the world champion. However, except for a brief eight to nine month period when I was living in Las Vegas in 2014 and 2015, I never, never put my heart and soul 100% into my training. There was always times where I was going out partying and drinking. There was times where I wasn't 100% consistent with even my training. And there was almost never a time, never a time outside of that eight to nine month window in Vegas where I was all in on my nutrition. I did not do the things that I needed to do to find out what my genetics were capable of. I never got a fair chance to see for myself what I could have done if I had given it my all, my heart and my soul. And now that I'm sitting here at 28 years old, having coached 200, 300 powerlifters, read so many articles on powerlifting, watched so many powerlifting meets, been to so many powerlifting meets, for me, that dream is dead. I don't have the passion for that that I once had. And I can't get it back. I've tried little comebacks over the past four or five years. You guys have seen some of them. It just isn't, isn't there the way that it used to be. And the biggest source of shame for me about this entire thing is that I let internet trolls get in my head. Seriously, I let internet trolls in my own mental weakness, my own emotional instability, my own lack of top-notch mental health, my own lack of working on my mind, on the most important part of being a good athlete, the mind. I let my lack of mental work completely kill that dream. And now that dream is dead and there's no chance of ever bringing it back because I have gone to the dark side. So why did I go to the dark side though? Why? Because, look, you guys love me as Izzy the powerlifting to win guy. Izzy the teacher, Izzy the guru, Izzy the guy that reviews programs. But I never wanted to be just a teacher. I never wanted to be a teacher at all. I wanted to be an athlete who inspired by doing and taught people along the way what I was learning in order to make myself better. It was never about becoming some preeminent powerlifting coach or a big name in the industry. I wanted to be in the trenches with other athletes doing my best to win. But somewhere along the line, it became about marketing and content and I had top level power lifters shitting on me, legends shitting on me because I had unfavorable reviews of their buddies' programs. And my confidence was shattered. And along the way, I just believed in that bullshit about your genetics aren't good enough. Well, now I'm at a point in my life where I don't care about my genetics anymore. I have this deep regret and this deep longing to know what can I do as an athlete if I turn over every stone, every leaf, if I push every button, if I go after everything 100%, perfect nutrition, perfect sleep, perfect training, and I have the resources to do it now. And when I first got into this sport, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my hero wasn't Eric Helms. My hero wasn't Steve Hall. My heroes were not, you know, Sean Noriega, Russell Orihi, Brett Gibbs, Ray Williams. I looked up to Ed Cohn, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman. And 10 years into this lifting game, 
I don't want to pretend like all my motivations are so high-minded and pure. I want to be big, I want to be strong, and I want to be jacked. And by going to the dark side and going all in, I'm talking about I'm going to do everything. Right now I'm training three times a day, eating six meals on a clock, taking everything that I need to take in the dose that I need to take them, like a pro would. I am living a pro lifestyle. And I'm gonna do this for years. To answer the question in my own heart, what could I be if I gave 100%? That's my new goal. I'm not here to tell you that I wanna become a world champion anymore. I'm not here to tell you I'm even gonna become an IFBB pro. I'm not here to tell you I'm gonna get in the top 20 of my weight class for the all-time totals of powerlifting. I don't even know if I'll get in the top 100. I don't know if my genetics will allow me to come within 50% of the best guy. But you know what? I don't care. I'm doing this for me to find out who I can be if I push myself all the way, 100%, no excuses, no more letting trolls in my head, no more giving up, no more switching things, no more looking for a way out. I am all in. 100% of my training, training twice a day AM, PMs, a third cardio session, eating perfectly clean. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. And I want to do this for years just to see what happens. I want to be the guy who people look at and said he got more out of his genetics than anyone else in history. That's my new goal. I want to find out what I'm capable of if I give it my all. So that when I am 40 and my body's breaking down, I don't have to look back and regret and wonder what could have been. By going to the dark side, I add this other element to the equation where if I had done it solely naturally, I would always wonder, could I compete with the best enhanced guys if I had gone that route? Well, now I'll never even have to ask that question either. I'll never have to ask any question about what could have been. I am going to know for 100% sure what my genetics are capable of. How big could I have gotten? How strong could I have gotten if I went all in? If I sacrificed everything, everything, everything. If I sacrificed everything, how big, how strong? I will have the answer to that question. And that's why I'm doing this now. And if you guys wanna follow along on that journey, man, I would love for you to do so. If you don't wanna pay for it, I totally understand. I still post my, my training videos, my updates for free on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, at Izzy Narvez. You don't have to join my site. You don't have to become enhanced, okay? I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm telling you why I'm doing this. And I'm doing this for me. So that when I die, I have no regrets about not knowing, not once pushing myself to be the best athlete that I could be. And it isn't gonna be a three month or six month stretch. This is something that I wanna do for 10 years. For 10 years, straight, you know? Maybe I'll have my answer sooner than that, I don't know. But I want to push myself 100% until I'm satisfied with knowing what I'm capable of. And that's with no excuses, with no qualifications, no natty qualification, no only training three times a week qualification, no qualifications. I'm all in 100% every day, every week, every month, every year, I'm all in. I want to see, I want to know. And that's my motivation for joining the dark side, guys. I want the answer to that question. What could I do? What could I really do if I gave 100%? Nobody knows, you don't know my genetics, I don't know my genetics. I just wanna know, for me, to have that question answered so that when I'm on my deathbed, when I'm retired, I have the answer to that question. What would happen if I gave it my all to the thing I love most, which is to lift weights? That's all I wanna know, that's my motivation. Who am I, who can I be if I give 100%? And I really hope you guys decide to follow me along on that journey. Some of you think this is all commercial. That's hilarious. I want to be an athlete again. That's why I'm doing this. This lets me be an athlete again, and I feel so damn good about it. I'm going to get the answer to that question. Hopefully, you guys follow along the journey, and you get the answer to that question as well. Hopefully, I can teach you things along the way. Hopefully, we can bond along the way. Hopefully, there's some really cool lifts, some really cool shows, some really cool meets, everything. Um, I'm hoping just to see what happens. Um, I'm giving my all, I'm putting my heart and soul into this. This is the new journey for me. If you don't like it, hey, unsubscribe, unfollow. I understand you came here for info, not for me. But from now on, this is about my journey. And those of you who wanna follow and see what I'm capable of when I give it my heart and soul, thank you so much for following. Let's find out what happens.